Today I'm going to show you how you can create a nice PowerPoint game like this, Fact or Bluff. I will also include this template. The link will be in the description, but I still recommend you guys to watch the whole video so we'll know how to use it, how to edit this file for, to match your needs. All right, starting with a blank slide, let's change the color to orange. I pick orange for this project. All right, now we're going to insert shapes. So we need a single, simple rectangle like that in the center with some light yellow color. So we can put text in. Let's use a violet outline. So we got some nice line around the shape like that. I want this shape to be irregular. So I will modify points. So let's edit points. We can move them around. We can also bend them. We can make them curvy a little bit. So take a look. If you use this node here, you can bend your curve and create nice curvy edges so this way it will have more like casual look not like perfect rectangle or anything like that okay that's nice so this will be our area for the statement we will put some statement inside we can double click on it this way you can type any text you need so let's also add a shadow a little shadow above i think i'll put some shadow at the top maybe like that okay little detail and that's our area for statement so double click and now we can just type from the keyboard or paste it as you can see the text is white white text on this bright background not good let's change the text color to match the frame and make it a bit larger maybe bold all right we are ready to paste the statement itself so simply paste your first statement even larger we can always modify the size of the text based on how long is the statement right okay and now we need to create a two options for our audience to see so we'll insert a new shape again something like rectangle will do let's keep it simple rectangle and this time we will have one for fact one for bluff and then we will modify them as we did before so we will change colors so maybe the fact should be more like in green colors right green usually we get to facts to true green light let us go through okay so green color and again i will modify points for this shape so this way i can create more like casual organic irregular look so don't be afraid of that not everything need to be exactly like geometric we can play with some shapes especially when we are designing a game okay bigger text let's keep this text also in the team light green will do and maybe also the frame around it should be light green let's try that out okay so the outline color okay that's our fact and we simply need to make a copy of it so we can create a bluff version of our, on our screen. So we got two options to kind of choose, you could say. So just simple copy and paste, command C, command V, rotate other way around, edit text inside, that's easy part. And again, we will recolor this. So we got like green and maybe maybe red. So red is for the bluff. Okay, let's change the color from this palette. Dark red will do. And again, you must change the color of the text to match that. There's not like light red, so I will click the dark red first and then I will click more colors so I can modify that color. Go to the center for lighter colors, like that all right and the same thing for the outline color we already can use the recent color here and that's the base design now it's time to add animation so only the correct answer will stay on the screen after we click with our mouse okay so for that we will need animation the first statement is fact that's true so we need bluff to disappear after we click so our audience will know which answer was the correct one so click on the wrong answer, in this case bluff, and we're going to add exit animation to it. What exit animation will do will make the object disappear after you click in your slideshow. 
So let's duplicate that so we can have a copy before we apply animation, okay? So I got save copy and now I'm ready to add animation to my bluff option. So head to animation tab at the top and we need to use the red one. Exit animation, the red color. You can play around here, pick the one that will match your design. So we can test our view. Maybe this one or maybe not. Let's change. How about something like this? This is a game, so I want something bold. We don't need to keep it minimalistic. We are not taking away attention from important content. It's just a game, so we can be more like creative with animations and transitions. Okay, so I want it to like go down. Perfect, sync down. That will be the one. All right, so when I click, it will just sync down. I don't need to set up any trigger, click whatever I want. That's the easiest way. All right, so we got exit for the wrong answer and the correct answer, the fact I wanted to like pulse, like in the game show. So let's add this yellow option. It will pulse. Okay, perfect. Let's also open animation pane so we can make it automatically. So when we click just once, not twice, click once, we will have glove disappear and this one will pause after that. Perfect, that's what we need. So we set up one statement with the fact. The fact will stay on the screen, the blob disappear. Let's change the statement in the copy in the second slide. And here, this will be a bluff. So we will make a fact disappear. This way we have template for both options. So you can simply duplicate the slide you need for fact or for bluff and change the statement without playing with animation at all. So I'm doing the very same thing. Fact disappear, bluff popping up with pulse. All right, and a little changes here after previous. And I think we are ready to test out this little template for the game. So let's test it out. Before that, I will add a, some kind of transition that match the game theme. So it's maybe like pulling like card after card from the hand with different facts and bluffs. Maybe uncover will do. Hmm? You can play around here and test first, but I think I will go with Uncover. This will kind of remind me like old games, we got stuff printed on cards. Apply to all and that should be it. So let's head to Slideshow and test our template. First slide. I click, I got my first statement. If I click again, I will show what's the correct answer. That was fact. All right, move to the next one. If I click again, I will show the correct answer. Bluff. Perfect. So we got one slide for fact, one for bluff. You can reuse that. You can simply duplicate the statement you want, change the statement inside, and you don't even need to play with animations. As I mentioned, the link is in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. And I hope I will see you in the next video. Bye.